Hey guys, today I'm going to play a different game. This is a new game that just got released like earlier this morning. This Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldiers. So I used to play this Final Fantasy VII games and when this title shows up, uh, it just intrigued me to try what this game is lo gonna look like. So uh, yeah, the songs here is very nostalgic. So if you play a Final Fantasy VII uh, before, you will be familiar with what the songs uh, that they have in here so right here i'm just trying to uh, create a new account but uh, yeah it allows me to log in at the end so um, this is what it looks like uh, the graphic looks pretty cool and it's yeah the first thing uh, we do we get into our character design here i believe yeah so we can select uh, the gender between male or female i'll go with the male and this is the base uh, appearance looks like there's only a few different uh, character types that we can select here so let me just select one yeah and we can change the skin color and there are three different face types which i can't really see much difference uh, between them and oh uh, i thought that we only have like a few hair selection okay so this is just the base appearance i think it's just the preset but you can customize it uh, further okay i'm quite satisfied with the customizations uh, right now so we're just gonna select the voice which is the last options that is available in there and we'll complete uh, with this appearance here so your appearance has been registered. Okay, so just the name here. We'll go with Oak Railing, just like usual. And save this appearance. And uh, it goes to the loading screen. Yeah, so the first uh, soldiers, the first class soldiers there. Um, that's, if you're familiar with Final Fantasy soldiers, it's just... Uh, um, title that they use for the guards uh, there and it has uh, different classes and the first class is the highest class okay so uh, we get into the tutorial now it just teach us how to move okay so I'm not very familiar with uh, the first person shooting on a mobile game this is actually the first one that I've tried uh, on a mobile game so bear with me if you see that uh, i'm not doing really good in the game just bear with me um okay so let's see so you can yeah you can use the joystick there to move the players and the other the right hand side it's going to control the camera and we can crouch and we can dodge roll if we tap the crouch button twice yeah that's that's quite handy and Okay, so what should we do here now? So I crouch, I'm walking and crouching and... Oh! Ah, okay. So I just need to get into the destinations. <laughs> Alright, looks like there uh, there's a dummy opponent there, so you just need to get close and attack. <laughs> Except that my attack was not landing. Uh, okay, so that one is good. And now he asked me to get a gun. Okay, let's grab a gun. Ahead. And looks like there are three different shooting modes that we can select. So the one that we have by default is the auto fire, so it just shoots when the crosshair is on the target. And there is a floating fire, fire button floats on the screen and follow the camera. I'm not sure what that does, so we'll just stay with the first one. And uh, Let's see what we need to do now. So I'm trying to shoot that target over there, but it doesn't do auto shooting. Okay, so let's try again. Yeah, so it's automatically shoots when my crosshair is aiming the opponents there. And there you go, and. Uh, Target moves quite fast, actually. Like uh, if I 
just stay uh, right there it just moved the uh, crosshair above or uh, like move it up uh, very quickly so okay I'm just trying to figure out what i need to do next oh i need okay so i can use that Slide scope up th above there and it will change the crosshair into the sniping mode but it's really difficult to snipe because I have to move the scope and press the attack button if I want to. Looks like it's really difficult to do. Okay, so it's like I can open a chest. Okay, so I was supposed to open the chest uh, before. So I got a materia. Yeah, the materia is one of the um, distinguishing features for Final Fantasy VII. So it's basically an item that it used to to do a magic attack. Enemy ahead. So now I have this uh, fire materia. I'm gonna Enemy use it to attack. Okay, I missed, but <laughs> it's like the uh, looks like it completes the tutorial. And the next one is come up with the styles here. So looks like we can select between uh, different styles, and by default, right now we're just using the warrior styles. Okay. So that's fine. Let's go there. And let's see. So if I tap that, it looks like it's showing some kind of barrier. And it's supposed to be able to charge the enemy with that. Okay. Okay. Let's head here. Clear. So next is to break a Syndra crate and get some potions. And okay, so that's where the crates is. Okay, I'll attack with the sword and we get potions. Oh, it looks like if there's an item, when as long as I stand on top of the item, it just picks up the item automatically. And I use the potions right there. And it looks like we can collect some money and buy or upgrade our weapons using this uh, fending machines there. So that's quite an uh, interesting mechanic. So you can collect some money in the battleground and there will be a place for you to upgrade your weapons or equipments. And parkour. So you can parkour and climb through windows or obstacles. Yeah, it's interesting. So it looks like I just need to use the jump button. Oh, okay. If I jump on the wall, then it will just do the parkour. Let's open up this uh, item here. So we have a pendant there. Okay, so that button is open the inventory, and you can check what is inside. Oh, what does the inventory that we found do? Yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, let's carry on. Let's go there. Okay, supply drop incoming. Get summon materia from supply drop. Okay, that's that's cool. Yeah, and Final Fantasy VII, you have a, you can use materia to summon uh, your summons as well, and it's very interesting. I think for me, I would love to use more magic and uh, summons when during the fight. So let's try this summons. So we got this guy. Ooh, very nice. So I got Ivrit. Oh, yeah, it's like this, that guy is attacking me. Okay, let's get him. Oh, what is that red area of attack? Okay, so that's Ivrit attacking. That's pretty cool. It looks pretty slow and hard to get close to the enemy. But uh, whatever. Yeah. Let's try to get this guy. I think I divided the guy, and Ifrit is still there. Yeah, that summons pretty cool. I like that. Okay, looks like I've I completed the training uh, now. Yeah, and then we have some cutscenes. Looks like this is the same cutscenes as that we have in the beginning of a Final Fantasy VII story. And you can see there there's clouds. Uh, about the train yeah this is like the very first scenes that you see when you're playing Final Fantasy 7 
So I'm just going to skip the cutscenes here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I think I, I watched this on YouTube uh, before. So I'm just gonna skip this one and get into the gameplay. Okay, so after the cutscenes, this is what happened. It's just my characters getting dropped from the skies. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do in here. I think it's just trying to uh, find a good landing locations. Okay, I me just land right over here. I don't really have any equipment. Looks like the starting gear is just the sword there. But uh, yeah, I noticed that uh, it was a motorcycle close to my landing location. Uh, soldier training objective. So we need to battle each other out and divot monsters and all the other soldiers. Let's yeah, let's try to ride this motorcycle. It looks cool. And it's <laughs> really hard to control, I guess, uh, or I um, just sucks at this game. But I notice that there's an enemy there. It's a bomb. Yeah, so the, just trying out uh, what all the other actions button is there. But that enemy in front of us, that's a bomb. If I remember from the Final Fantasy VII story, so if I defeat that monster, it will explode. So it's best to just attack the enemy with a ranged weapon. But I don't really have any ranged weapon yet. Yeah, let's try to follow what Lucia is saying and find... Oh, I just got past a guy and he's attacking me. Well, I don't really have a gun yet. Okay, let's try to find a place where we can find a gun. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to just battle um, each other. Let's try to open up the map and see if we can find anything around the area. But, oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> wait. Yeah, so uh, guys, there, let's, let's run away. Or, yeah, let me try to attack this guy. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah, looks like this melee is uh, better than using a gun. Okay, now. I cannot really find a place to find a gun. Let me just steal it from this guy. Looks like after the enemy is dead, uh, we can steal their equipments. That's pretty handy. And uh, let's not ride the motorcycle anymore. It's very hard to control. Just try to find any uh, place where I can get in. And maybe I can find something inside the house. It's another motorcycle. I don't need the motorcycle right now. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. I guess we're just supposed to find any uh, enemy. Okay. Looks like there's a lot of potions. I need potions. Hey, how do I? How do I get the potions? I'm supposed. To... I thought, yeah, I would just picked up the potions once I uh, step on it. But yeah, it doesn't really do anything. I put the cross there in there. Oh, no. There's another guy coming in. Okay, let's just kill that guy. Oh. Or it's me. He's going to end up getting killed. Let's try to get, attack them uh, with the sword. There you go. Yeah. Oh. I really, I'm really bad at using the gun. I think I should just stay with uh, using a sword. And level up. Looks like we can level up and increase our HP and MP. Okay, let's try again. Let's try. I need this potions here because the enemy is be Okay, so I got the patience. Training zone shrinking. Yeah, I don't know what happened before. I couldn't get the potion. Oh, looks like we got a materia. Nice. And that one is Executioner Gamma. Well, it looks like a stronger weapon because it has a blue color. 
or maybe oh, okay yeah it's like some yeah we can go inside here so we have yeah more weapons and a place to vending machines okay let's see what we can do with this vending machines hmm okay so we swap weapon that way okay yeah and this vending machine is selling materia and the other one is selling weapon but i don't really have any kill or money right now we can't really exchange or buy anything okay how do i climb up the stairs I'm supposed to be able to parkour yeah there you go all right let's see Okay, now we're gonna see what's inside this abandoned building. Oh, oh. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on in there? You see, I have Thorn Berry, and one hit it gets my HP down to one HP. Oh, whoa, so it just teleported behind me and stabbed me at the back. Okay, let's see if I can kill this. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I got killed instead. What happened here? Okay, it looks like I respawn. Normally you... Okay, so... Down status. Uh, when the HP reach zero... Well, yeah, basically this is because this is a training. So H HP reach zero, then I will just respawn instead of dead. Okay, so I'll try to find a place where uh, there's a lot of houses because I know that uh, inside the houses there would be some equipments. So at least I will get my gun early uh, this time. And sure enough, so we get some ammo here, which is nice, and some item. So we'll open up the box, and yeah, I got the gun. All right. So this will be a better start compared to before, I believe. And looks like uh, there's a supply drop in here too. It's beautiful. So, okay, so if I pick the other gun, looks like I cannot, yeah, I cannot pick up the, that gun. So I can, I can only have like two uh, different guns. Monster. And, whoa, oh, whoa, okay, so that's an enemy monsters. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's using uh, materia there bio I think I got poisons my HP become very low now. Uh, I try to use uh, my potions but it doesn't seems to do anything um, okay let's try with the using the materia using this blind and I'm going to attack the monster from distance okay the monster stare somehow is more difficult than the players on up. i don't know if i'm facing the real players here or is it just an uh, npc player probably just an npc because i'm still on training and i can respawn okay let's try to get this monster down no oh. no oh, i got it Next thing, the monster drops money. I see. Okay, so the player doesn't really drop money, but the monsters drop money. Healing. And it's heal because I almost die. And the heal doesn't seem to heal uh, right away. So it heals my player gradually. Okay, let's try to find other players. The training zone is shrinking. Looks like over time the training zone are going to shrink. Oh, there you go. Find another enemy. It's coming here. It's just... Oh. <laughs> I'm reloading. Okay. Uh, back to melee attack. Melee attack. And... Do, 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 do. Where's that guy? It's gone. Oh, here you are. Whoa, whoa, what's, whoa, what's going on there? Stagger effect. Ah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't know how I do that. 
but it works. Okay, let's grab uh, this material. Okay, and it looks like I can only carry up to three materials. So two guns and three materials. No, what is this thing? Oh, you can call it chocobo. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, I can ride a chocobo. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. And yeah, there's three buttons there. Oh, okay. So that one is to ah, so that other button there is to make the chocobo go away. Well, it's like somebody's attacking me. Yeah, I cannot see him. Oh, there he is. All right, I'll try to attack him when you get closer with my sword. Ooh, right. Here. Okay. Oops. I was using sword. All the other enemy that I'm facing before never used sword. Okay. Okay, I think I should beat uh, this guy with my sword too. And heal up a little bit. And oh, he's gone again. So this guy is uh, tougher than any of my previous enemy because oh, he's behind me. Oh, what? Okay, I got killed. Hmm. Well, this is not easy. Okay, so finally I bit uh, the tutorial. So this is a long uh, tutorial. It takes me about 30 minutes uh, to complete this tutorial stage. Wow, okay, I can't really imagine what's the actual gameplay is gonna be. Because even just uh, one uh, stage there it takes me 30 minutes to complete. And let's, yeah, let's see what uh, we have next. Season 1, Rise of Sinra. What is this? What? I, yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's maybe something that I need to purchase. Like using a real money. And how do I proceed from here? Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, looks like that home button will bring me back to home. And there are a few different uh, mode, maybe, that we can play on. And there's a bundle sale. So it looks like I can get the Clouds skins and Tifa skin. And I'm not sure what this one is. It's season 1 Rise of Shin Rise. This uh, the story mode, maybe, that we can play on? Let's see the detail. Well, okay, the detail is taking us to uh, outside of the game. I guess we'll worry about that later. And okay, so we have a kickoff login bonus. So we got an egg. And. Yeah, okay, that's uh, been a long video now, so uh, if you enjoy this kind of uh, first look, just leave a comment below and let me know so I can make a similar video in the future. So if you like me to continue uh, playing this game, um, I will probably spend a few more uh, hours on this game to get familiar with it and see if this game is worth playing. But uh, overall, it looks pretty interesting, the graphic looks pretty good. And yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.